What up, what up? So it's K here, and we are back with another Play Like K Madden 16 tips. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make this an actual series, um, but, you know, I, I may, I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to do another one of these today, obviously, hence why the video's up, right? <laughs> so in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to cover cover forwards and how to stop fullback dives, because you all know fullback dives are like, it's the easiest way to get a touchdown if the other guy doesn't know how to stop it. So we are going to be the Browns versus the Cardinals. We are the Browns because, you know, I want to show you it's about the play, not the player versus player. So we're going to be a subpar offense versus a very good defense. And we're going to play an all-pro because draft champions and Mutt, uh, Mad Ultimate Team 16, are played on all-pro, guys. So you might as well practice on how you play. You know what I'm trying to say? Bars, by the way, I'm still going. I'm not going to try to rhyme any further than that. Let's hit the ready button. Let's get into this cover four. I accidentally went into an actual game. This isn't practice mode. Let's back out. So now let's go over this cover four. We're going to do a cover four out of the three four. And we are just going to go into... Let's go into a shotgun and let's just go into a um, bunch offset. Why not? So now let's take a little look at this cover four. So in this cover four, you have four defensive backs playing off, hence why it's called cover four. Cover four is a prevent type of play. It's to prevent the long ball, hence why I got four defenders off. So tell me, guys, if you have four defenders off, like playing all the way in the back for trying to prevent a huge play, and you throw something underneath, how many players are left? Three. You have these two linebackers, Deion Buchanan, and you have Minter, and you have Lamar Woodley. So if you throw something underneath, how will these three defenders be able to stop it when you have one, two, three, four, five players that are potentially pass catchers? You know what I'm trying to say? Um, so I guess the best tip I could give versus cover fours is take what you can get, and those plays will add up. For example, if you get five yards every play, that's, that's a first down virtually. For example, look. We're going to go with the little spacings play here. This should be easy money. We're looking. We see the outside, and that is four or five, you know? Okay, you want more yards than four or five? I bet you do. We're going to go with this four verts trips. Okay, we're looking. Oh, look who's wide open on the outside. It's Travis Benjamin. Another reason why this works, guys, is because a cover four is a spacing play in general, like on the defensive side of the ball. You have four defensive backs deep. You have two on the outsides, in this case, uh, Buchanan and Lamar, and you have Minter in the center. That leaves a lot of space. You know what I'm trying to say? Unless you throw up top, then it doesn't. If you throw underneath, you have plenty of space to work with. Um, for example, we're going to go right back to this play. Easy money to the outside. Bow. No one's there because Lamar cannot cover two or three people at the same time. There's too many players on one side of the field. We could probably throw it to the inside, too. We're waiting. Wait for the zone. Bang. You can get that, too. You know, it's you attack underneath before the deep zones. Cover four, attack before the deep zone. Watch this. We're going to go with the same play, and now we're going to throw it deep. We're going to wait a little bit too long. Oh, we waited too long. Oh, look who's there. It's Patrick Peterson, you know? And it works in any concept, not just streaks on one side. As long as you overflow a side, it'll work. See, look. Bang. Bang. Easy money. Why does that work? Let's look at it, and then we'll go to fullback dives. You have this one guy in the center covering the middle. You have Lamar on the outside covering the outside, okay? So, bang, right here. This guy right here, Heartline, got Lamar Woodley's attention, so he's going to cover him. And then Barnage is going to the outside, okay? So he's going to be open because he has to commit to Heartline. Okay, so he's gonna be open, but then you could say K okay, happens if you use the linebacker and he comes in and gets him Well, you know what that will leave this slant open right there Because the same thing like over here on that four vert thing we did This mill linebacker will have to pick his poison. You know, I'm trying to say he either can commit here or here, you know, so either way a Cover four if you attack underneath you'll find somebody open simply because there's not enough players in the equation but i want two more concepts i can show you you do not have to flood one side because if you do flood one side and they love to use cover four they're going to hit so they're going to switch up plays you can stick with an even offense you can look easy money bow bang 
quick twitch. First down, okay? Yes, that was a hard grab. We could do it all over again. It doesn't matter. Here, let's just change the play real quick. I'm gonna cut it just so I don't waste our guys' time with me audibling. We could probably hit our left wideout on this one too. Let's hit all of our wideouts. Wait for it. Be patient. Bang. See? Cover four will leave everything underneath open. So this one is a little bit more risky, but it will work, okay? Not all the time, but if you need 20 yards and you don't have a choice, here's one right here. Bang, wait for it. Bang. It's a little bit more risky. And it will work to both sides, guys. Wait for it. And bang. Open receiver. That is a catch. But like I said, that check down is crucial because he draws off that defender on the flat here. Actually, we're going to do it to the opposite side. We're going to do it to the right. If Barnage doesn't go to the outside, guarantee he's going to be double teamed up here. Double teamed. Bang. See what I mean? You see what I mean? He was double teamed. Okay. So cover fours are a little bit more complicated to explain because there's so many ways to attack it. But if I had to write out a list. One, you got to throw fast underneath. Two, s attack the inside. Why? Because the field is going to be spaced. Three, flood aside because you will leave one defender on an island where he can't cover everybody. Now let's go to fullback dive. And I'm sure this has happened to you guys a lot where um, they're on the one yard line or it's fourth and inches or fourth and one and two. And then they just do this play. And then that's an easy touchdown. You know, you could do this all day. We could run this again. It'll be easy money. We're in a goal line formation. Okay. It's not like we're versing like a package without big guys. And here's why it works. We are in a goal line. Okay. And all these guys are going to get blocked. Bang. All right. Who's marking the fullback? Both of these guys. Okay. Both of them. It doesn't matter because they are not attacking. When you're on the one yard line, guys, you can play conservative. You have to attack. You don't have a choice. Because if you play off and play conservative, you'll give up fullback dives. Here's how you stop it. It's not really that difficult to stop, guys. All you got to do is you got to bring a gap pressure. In other words, you have a middle linebacker shooting right up the center. Why? Because you need to attack. He has one yard. He only needs one yard. If you don't attack, and he will give up three, you know, and that's not a lot of yardage. But you don't have three yards to give up. You only have one. So you've got to attack. You have to. And then you run commit right up the center. Bow. We're going to do it again. Run commit up the center. And bang. That's another stop. Okay, let's say that was first down. Second down. Let's do it again. Your opponent goes for it again. That's a third down. Okay. And I guess that makes this fourth down. Right, guys? Fourth and, fourth and goal. Fourth on the one yard line. All right. No problem. Because we're bringing everybody down the center. And that's another stop. Bang. But another key importance is you need to be in the goal line if they're in a goal line. Why? You need to negate the line. You need to attack at the line of scrimmage. If you do not, then someone's going to be double teamed, leaving too much space. See, look, you need everybody to cancel out. In other words, see, like, everybody is ISO'd other than maybe that one guy out to the outside. But he doesn't matter. It's a fullback dive. So everybody's ISO'd, which leaves plenty of space. For three linebackers or a linebacker and two safeties to get to. You know what I'm trying to say? Bang. That's easy money. Too much space. Everybody, every blocker's picked up and you attack. You got to shoot up that gap, man. But that run commit is very important. See, look, if you run commit, this is what happens. They shoot right up the center. Now let's look at if they don't run commit. This is what happens if you don't run commit. He rolls in the end zone. Okay, easy money. He, all right, we're going to do it again. He's probably not going to roll in the end zone. He's probably going to just easily waltz in there. See, even easier. Let's go for why. And here is why the run commit is important. If you do not run commit, look at these two safeties. They are marking the running back and fullback. In other words, they are going to cover them. So right off the hike, you can see both of them aren't blitzing. It's a run, but they are first reacting to, is it a pass? Is it a run? I don't know. Um, do I want food after this? What do I want to eat? Should I hit on a cheerleader? That's what they're thinking about. But see, if you run commit, you're virtually saying, yo, Gibson, yo, Campbell, run right up the center. Don't think about a damn pass. Don't think about the cheerleader. Just attack up the center. If you do not run commit, they're going to be thinking about the pass or some other crap, you know? But if you run commit, they're going to attack up the center. So I'm going to wrap the video up. Let's do a recap. We stop and cover fours. Space the field. 
or flood a side and attack underneath. Versus fullback dives, A gap pressure down the center, right down the center, and match up the linemen. If they're running out of the I form, you can run out of a 3 4 and beat a fullback dive. If they're running out of a goal line, you better be in a goal line or else it won't work. You got to have the players on the line that can negate each other so players can come through the A gap and take him out. All right. I'm done with this video. I don't like being your guys' teacher. I like the guy. I like to be the guy that just plays the game. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. And remember, these are just my opinions, my tips. Plenty of other things work. This is just my way. But anyways, I'm out. Love you guys.